Today, we're gonna to do a little bit of curation. I'm gonna do three different types of clips from three different parts of the world. Two of them are editorial, and one of them is commercial. Let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna do a clip um, that uh, of me and my wife bicycling. Not a great clip, but something that somebody might want to buy. And we'll do one with me passing her on this nature trail. That looks like a good one to do. So uh, first thing to do is maybe look at it. And of course I filmed this, so it's I, I know where it was and, and what we were doing. Um, but uh, if it's from somebody else, you just want to get a good feel for it first. And make sure that it's steady. Uh, make sure that uh, there's no logos anywhere. That you have uh, model releases if you need them. If it's somebody else's, you just need to remind them that they need the model releases. There's no private recognizable property anywhere. This is uh, a good clip. So um, let's just get started. I'll show you how I do it. So first thing I want to do is come up with a good description. I have a model release for this cyclist uh, because she's my wife and that's already on file. So uh, we can use that, no problem. So what we have is um, cyclists going down a nature trail by a, by a river. The sky is beautiful. It's reflecting off the surface of the water. Uh, there's no other riders. It's a sunny morning, sun setting, sun, sun rising, I mean. Um, and it's a first person view from, in, in this case, from me. So we'll write something like this. Cyclists riding down a nature trail beside a river with the morning sun and sky reflecting off the water. First person view. We can always change that when we go back. Uh, but we want to get a good description and we want it to be unique. We don't want to have any other clips with this same description. Of course, if I have a series of this, which I do, uh, I can put different things on there. Uh, and, and I shouldn't load up, by the way, more uh, clips of the exact same thing or, or very similar. They should be different. Um, uh, they, they might be a different place, different season, different sky, or even if it's the same part of the day, just a different part of the trip going over a bridge or um, uh, uh, with mountains in the background, um, with this is from over a cliff, cliff, whatever, whatever you decide you want to do. But don't put the same clip over and over again. It's not going to help your sales. Okay, so let's start putting keywords in. The, the order of keywords is important. You want to put keywords, the most important keywords in the beginning. And if somebody's going to look at this clip or buy, more importantly, buy this clip, what are they looking for? They're looking for maybe two people cycling together. They're looking for a nature trail. They're looking for, so we put those most obvious things first. Don't put uh, keywords that aren't directly related. Expect, don't put keywords that aren't directly related at all. But you can put some, for example, you could put um, a landscape, um, nature. You can put all those things in there. Fence, plants, summer. But the most important keywords you want to put in the first part of it, uh, uh, most important are the first 10 words. So we're going to put bicycle, ride, trail, river, 
reflection, morning, sunny, sunrise, water, first person, scenic, view. So those to me, uh, bike, let's do bike. Do we have ride? Okay, here's another thing. I have ride. Um, you don't need to put many forms of the same words. I don't want to put ride, riding, rider, riders. <clears throat> I, don't use different forms of the same word over and over again. You're just wasting your keywords. The search engines are optimized to take all the forms uh, of the words and even understand them in context. So you don't bother putting a lot of words that uh, have the same root in them. You can, you should put, I think, bike as opposed to bicycle and maybe cyclist. Um, but don't even overdo those. Okay, now we can do the most, the more, um, the less obvious words. <clears throat> Two people woman uh, paved pathway road nature sky cloud blue green white colors are important um, I'm going to put e-bikes because maybe somebody's looking for e-bike. These are e-bikes, a uh, pedal assist bike, so that might be important. Fence, <coughs> rural, countryside, I, I tend to type really fast and I should just type slower and be more accurate. Um, the other thing is I have a little bit of dyslexia, so sometimes I'll put the 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 uh, the letters in the, the letters are correct, but they're in the wrong order or whatever. Make sure you check them as you go, and it's a nice thing down here. There's there's grass along this trail, so if I put grass, for example, you can see that the different words show up, and you can make sure that your spelling is correct. It's just another way to help you uh, along the way here. Horizon landscape, wide angle, uh, exercise, sport, um, mature, we're older people, so uh, we might as well put that on, um, together, activity, leisure, Lifestyle, um, transportation, Re do I have relaxation? I'll put it, don't know. sometimes if you don't know you have it, it'll show up. And again, I try to use, I don't, I don't want to use relax, relaxing, relaxation. I'll tend to put like uh, reflection, I could put reflect, reflection, reflecting. If I use this, if I know which words I use, I'm not gonna inadvertently double them up because I have a kind of a system of the words that uh, I use. And uh, you see, we've already got 43 um, words. And, and also, so you wanna describe exactly what's going on, but you also wanna do the feeling that it gets. So maybe one like tranquil or peaceful. I don't put both peaceful and tranquil usually, unless it's I'm really trying to emphasize something. But you need to, you, in addition to, to to showing the activity of what's going on here, you want to give the you want to give some what 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 angle shot is it? Well, this one's a first person view. Um, it's wide angle. It's um, it's peaceful. There's an activity going on. So so give some words about how it makes you feel 
in addition to what is actually going on in the clip. Maybe somebody doesn't know they're looking for a, a couple riding down the road together, but they're looking for some um, something like a, uh, a nature um, view of, of a couple doing something together. So put in together, relaxation, leisure, activity, exercise, sport. Go ahead and put all those in. There's some signs along the way, so we can put in signage. I think I put in fence already, but if you're not sure, put it in, and it'll show you where that already exists in the um, clip. Helmet we can put. Um, speed. Safety. I think we have activity, leisure, lifestyle, transportation, relaxation, um, and we can put in, uh, you know what, let's put just put an FPV for per first person view. Now sometimes I'll end up with 55, 60 words in here and you can only use 49. Sometimes I can only think of 20. If, you're, if there's a simple activity going on and you have 20 good keywords, there is no need to keep going. If you've got it right, you can't think of anything else that really pertains to this clip. It's okay to put 20 uh, keywords in. If you have 50, 60, then I start going through this and saying, okay, which ones do I really don't need? Um, do I need grass, for example? Do I need white, just because of the white clouds and the white fence? Do I need, so then I'll start taking out words that I'm not sure um, are going to help this clip sell. In this case, I think this is a pretty good idea of what we're doing, so on we would go. Now the next thing we do here is category. I think people spend an inert amount of time, I think people spend too much time trying to decide which category this could go in. This could be, for example, nature. It could be people. It could even be objects and equipment. It could be transportation or travel. Um, it could be sports and fitness. I think I'm going to put sports and fitness in. The bottom line is that category doesn't matter. If you have three or four clips in the same batch of a similar activity, put a different one on each clip. Maybe if it helps, it'll help you just a little bit to get that feature, to get that, that clip featured in, in a search. And once they find one of your clips, a lot of times they'll find the other ones because um, you can, uh, it, it'll show this clip and then it'll say other similar clips or other clips by the same uh, creator. Um, this was done down here in the camera type. This was a GoPro. And so we'll put GoPro there. And um, I have a model release and I've already uploaded it. I can show you how to do that in another video, but this is called my wife's name, Sandy Cycling. And I can add that, save it. And just want to make sure, you just want to make sure you, one more time, you've got everything spelled right. The description is correct. It's not editorial. I don't need to click the editorial box. The keywords, I've checked them twice. They're all spelled correctly. They're in the right order with the most important 10 or 15 words right up in the front. Um, and I've got the model release attached. So now I can save it and I can, uh, I can submit it. Once it's submitted, it'll go over here to the submitted content and um, you can see that it is pending review. So somebody's going to review that. You can look at it if you need to. And um, uh, it, the, the thing is, once you submit it, you can't change it. I would have to delete it now if I wanted to do it over and then upload again. Okay. <clears throat> So let's go back to the dashboard. By the way, you find this in the My Black Box section. Once you upload your clips using the um, FTP, I, I use FileZilla, and we can do a we can do a tutorial on that. Then I go to My Black Box, and here's going to have my clips that I've uploaded. It's going to have under Workspace. It's also going to have curation clips that people have assigned to me. So let's do one of those. This one for sure is editorial. We've got people here in masks. Uh, the bus is coming in. 
Uh, it's got the name of the tour uh, group here. Um, there's just a lot, there's some signs on these buildings. There's just a lot of reason like why this needs to be editorial. However, this is still a really good clip. The reason that this is a good clip is because news, there's always going to be news about cities, transportation, bus stop. These people are wearing masks. There could be news about COVID, riding the bus. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why you want to upload this and that editorial is not going to hurt you. So let's go ahead and do this clip. Um, this is from my friend in South Korea. He's a new collaborator with me. Um, and right off the bat, you can see how he's really helped us up here because he says this is at the Gangnam station of Seoul um, and uh, slow motion. And he's got the date here. The date that he took this was the 15th of September, 2021. We need that when we do editorial. To do an editorial piece, you select this button right here by editorial. And that brings up some extra um, things for you to fill in. There is a system to this. And I don't know that everybody agrees with me, but this is how I, this is how I do it. I'll do um, the name of the city. The name of the country, the month, the year, and then I'll do a short description. Okay, so I put Seoul, South Korea, September 2021, colon, people wearing face masks lined up to ride buses at the Gangnam bus station. So you have the country, the date, the year, and a short description. Down here you put the... Uh, the um, city. Here you put the state, which only matters in the United States, even in countries that have other states. I don't put that in. I only put it in, in, in uh, if it's in the United States. And the date, it says up here is the 15th. So we'll just select the 15th of September. You can go back as far as you want. And then description. I put a different description here than I put up here. It might be similar but it's going to be different than what you see here in the um, in the short uh, editorial caption. This is going to be um, uh, just we'll see we'll we'll work on it here for a minute. It's come up come up with the the best one we can. I want to get as many keywords up in these descriptions and editorial captions as I can because all of that is going to help with the keywords uh, down here in the keyword section. They go together with the search engine to optimize the results of a search that somebody puts in. And you can see that we already have a lot of keywords uh, based on just this up here. And the fact that these people are wearing face masks is uh, I think likely that somebody could buy this clip just to show that um, life goes on in South Korea, but there's a lot of precautions and safety as well. If there's another outbreak, somebody could buy this. If it goes down, somebody could buy this. If there's an incident at this bus station, somebody, there's a lot of reasons somebody might buy this clip. And it's a nice, steady, no noise, perfectly shot nighttime clip of Seoul. So notice how he put it on a, he put it on a tripod. This is the best way to film stock footage, by the way, especially when you're at a location Put it on a tripod. You don't have to have any movement. People are going to buy this for establishing shots. They're going to buy it for the new. They're not going to buy it for the dynamic movement to, to go in a, a movie. You know, this, this is this is going to be a three second uh, a clip that's on a part of a news broadcast or something like that. So <clears throat> let's put in bus. Whoops, need a comma. Uh, here's a th something that people ask all the time. Do you need to put spaces? If I put a bunch of spaces and then put stop and comma, it's not, it's going to ignore all those spaces anyway. If your finger is used to putting space between each word after the comma, go ahead and do it. The program is just going to take it out, but you don't need to comment. You know, if you want to go fast, you don't need to put any spaces in there. Bus stop. So... Korea, South, 
nighttime Gangnam bus. Uh, you know, I already had bus in there, and it's okay because if it notices you already have the keyword in here, it checks it and then goes back to. I uh, just it just highlights it and then ignores it. You're not going to make a mistake by putting it in too much. Commuter, ride, people, face mask. <clears throat> most words, most times you want to put in one word, comma, another word. Sometimes words go together and they really have to be together understood in context properly, like face mask. So I go ahead and put those together. I don't know the best rules for that. I do it a little bit by feeling. And to me, that's just the way it needs to go. So COVID. Pandemic. Ride, maybe I already have. Line. Nighttime. Uh, city. Center. Transportation. Lights. Whoops. Light. Um, travel. Trip. Destination. Station. Do I already have station in there? Okay, good. Ride bus where? We'll say wearing. I'm gonna put that one. If you want to move the order, it's very easy to do. Like I want, I want wearing near face mask. I think it needs to be up here near the front. Um, so I just select it, just click on it, and drag it where you want to put it. You need to put it right over the word you want it to be in front of. So now it says face mask wearing. You know, and a lot of times at the end, I'll decide this word is really important. It needs to be up near the top. I'll put it up there, and sometimes I'll change the description. Or the caption too. I think I'll think of a better one while I'm writing keywords. You know that just makes sense. Okay, urban, Asia, global, pandemic, <clears throat> virus. We can put vaccine. Uh, maybe they'll say uh, in the news that people have to have been vaccinated before they're allowed to ride the bus. Then that keyword might be uh, needed to, for them to stumble up upon this. Center. I might have put center already. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go through this uh, really fast and put in more keywords. Okay, um, I put in the words uh, that I was feeling, and also changed some of the some of the location, putting some more to the front and some more to the back. I also changed uh, or adjusted this uh, editorial caption. So here's how it reads now: Seoul, South Korea, dash September, 2021. I always start out editorial captions this way. And I, I and I've seen a lot of others do it this way too. I think that's just a good way for your editorial caption to put the city, the country, uh, the month and the year, and then a short caption. Commuters should be not commuter. Commuters wearing face masks waiting at the Gangnam bus station, bus stop station. City of Seoul, country of South Korea. The date was given to me here. Here's another thing for you sending people um, curator clips. Um, it's good to put, if he hadn't put the name of the bus station up here and the date, I would have had to go back to him and ask for more information. Um, and it just, it just makes it much easier for me to know exactly where this was and what it was doing. And maybe he knew it was going to be editorial. Maybe he wasn't sure. But either way, because... Um, uh, you again put this up there like that. It is easy for me to to understand. Um, so here and then for the um, description, I put a little bit more. 
nighttime view of Gangnam bus station in downtown Seoul with people lined up to ride wearing face masks to protect against COVID infection. <clears throat> All of these should be keywords except for some of the small uh, particle words in there, but all of these main words here should be in the first part here. Bus stop station, Seoul, Gangnam, Korea, South, commuter, nighttime, face mask, downtown, people, line, queue, ride, protection, COVID, infection, virus, global, pandemic, darkness, light, from the lights, colorful, transportation, safety, city, urban, center, busy street, travel, Building, nightlife, population, traffic, road, middle, headlight, taillight, movement, static, location, Asia, signage, bustling, rush, passenger, flowing. Um, maybe I should put coronavirus. Yeah, I think I'll... Put coronavirus here and then maybe take out rush it's not really like people are rushing it's pretty calm so anyway you can adjust this you only get 49 um, so um, I think these are pretty good you want to save that uh, for category I put transportation um, that fits best, but there's, again, any number of things you could have put here. And don't spend a lot of time worrying about what you should put down in this category. Now save it. Now this one uh, is not mine. In fact, if I return, I can see that the status here has changed to completed. It's showing me ownership 25. I'm not sure why he put 25. I usually charge him 20. Um, so maybe... I'm not sure why he put 25 there. Maybe because he thought his editorial was a little more work, but I don't, I don't do that. So, again, if you want to change that to 20%, I'm fine with that. Or in the future, do a couple of mine at 15%. That's fine too. Um, and there's other ones that are related, so I can use some of the work or research and thought that I put into this one will also apply to these other two. Okay, let's do another one. I've got these from my friend. Um, Pedro, and he has, he's got a lot of, so Pedro sent me this clip here of clownfish with a sea anemone, very interesting clip. What you want to do always is look up the type of, of wildlife, regardless of what type of wildlife it is, you want to know the name of it. A lot of times the person filming it will know the name, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes you have to do research. Uh, now, Pedro always gives me a list of clips um, and their name and some notes. So he sent me some notes. So let me look at my notes to see what he said about this one. He said, um, Amphiperonie, that's the Latin word. I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess it's clownfish in English, and that's what I think it is too, clownfish. So... <clears throat> Before I do this, I want to look up a little bit about clownfish, so I can go to um, here and put clownfish. And I want to put um, sea anemone. They have, it's already here. I want to put that in because you always see clownfish with the sea anemone. An anemone. And so... Um, you want to look at that. Maybe we should read this article to get a little bit more out of it. Uh, it might tell us the scientific words. Okay, right off the bat, here's a good word we can use in this clip. Symbiotic relationship. Um, symbiotic, if you don't know it, you can always select it and look that up. The definition, it might also help you for some even more keywords. But symbiotic is when two species um, benefit one another. Um, for you know, mate like the the, uh, the clownfish will groom the sea anemone, and the sea anemone provides protection and and camouflage or something like that. In this case, the three part symbiotic relationship. Oh, oh that's something else. <clears throat> it's also known as the anemone fish. That's a good keyword for us. Uh, this is uh, what a sea anemone is. That's going to give us some keywords. This is going to explain um, what the relationship is. 
But the clownfish cleans the anemone, providing nutrients in the form of waste, and scares away pillaging fishes like uh, butterflies. Um, butterfly fish. In other words, the anemone is dependent on the clownfish for nutrition and protection. In return, the anemone provides home, shelter, and a poison-free environment to the clownfish. So that's what that's why it's a symbiotic relationship. So we can we can use that. And I also like to know just like make sure we have the um, I like to look on uh, Wikipedia because Wikipedia is going to have the Latin name for it which is the exact name that Pedro gave me when he sent me the clip so this is going to help us right here so let's go ahead and start keywording this. So we might change this, but here's what I have. Two clownfish stay close to a sea anemone in a colorful tropical coral reef underwater view. Um, I, some, I put, sometimes I put this underwater view, just it doesn't, it seems like that would be obvious, but sometimes I've done searches on stuff like this that I did and I couldn't find, find it until I put underwater view clownfish, you know, then, then it came right up. So I've been putting that in there. Um, it doesn't make sense to me, but you know, sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to look, do searches on clips that you would expect to find that you put in and see if you're getting the right results. So let's start putting in keywords and maybe I'll speed this part up. Okay, uh, let's look at this clip and see how it turned out. Two, two clownfish stay close to a sea anemone in a colorful tropical coral reef underwater view. And then for keywords, I have clownfish, sea, anemone, colorful tropical coral reef underwater view, fish, orange, white, the Latin name, ocean, saltwater, dive, snorkel, blue, clear, animal, the family name, also in Latin, species, symbiotic, relationship, help, pair, mate, protection, wildlife, habitat, environment, natural, natural, nature, anemone fish, mutualistic, two, group, school, sand, small, cute, pattern, wild, free, swim, Nemo. I thought somebody might search on finding Nemo fish or something like that. Tide, wave, and motion. I just like the motion of the anemone. Um, so that took a minute to do. Uh, sometimes you have to just think and do all that you can do. The category is animals, and there's no need for any type of um, model release or anything else. This one's ready to go, so we can save it. Make sure everything's spelled right. I check two or three or four times. Um, still, I find a mistake now and then um, and, and have to correct it and uh, return and when I return it it'll show down here that um, this clip um, is completed and is ready to go my part is the curation ownership 20 percent the curator owner is 35 percent so what happens is Pedro probably got this from a friend of his he told the friend he'd uh, you know give him uh, 45 percent Pedro probably edited it cleaned it up, stabilized it, uh, color graded it, did all that stuff for 35% and then he sent it to me for 20%. So um, I can um, uh, give that one to go. And these are all good ones, but sometimes you might get one. Suppose when I'm looking at this one, 
that it has black bars on it or it's just unstable or it's so bad and noisy or whatever that I just don't think it has a chance to sell, then what I can do is hit refuse, <clears throat> tell them what, you know, there's uh, black bars or um, uh, too noisy, unstable, whatever, and then I can say send mail and it'll send it back to the person who assigned it to me and let them know that they either need to work on it or give it up. So that's how I make money on Black Box. I do my own videos, I curate for others, um, and this hopefully will help you understand the curation process and also what you can do to get the best clips. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Please subscribe if you like this content.